Okay, the next portion of our session is to take a look at menus and widgets. And I'm going to do this piece together. Over here on the, <coughs> excuse me, left hand side, once again, if we go under appearance, we can see that we've got menus and widgets. Before I jump there, I'm going to go back to themes and customize just to show you this particular theme does not have a menu option off of its main customization bar. I'm guessing that's because they've added so many uh, widget spaces. These are just placeholders or spaces in which you can drop widgets. And in order to figure out where they would appear on the um, website, you, you kind of have to play with them by putting a widget in there and see where it pops up. But generally speaking, designers will also put a, a, a option for a menu in here. This particular theme doesn't have that, but that's okay. So we're going to pop back over here to appearance and we're going to go down to menus. And nothing really exciting happens on the menus until we actually create uh, a new menu. So I'm going to call this main menu. Now the title of this menu has nothing to do with what actually appears on the website. So you can call this, you know, primary menu, home menu, main menu, doesn't really matter as long as you know what it's called. For instructional purposes, I encourage you to call it main menu so that we all know what we're talking about. I'm going to go ahead and click on create menu. Once I've done that, now it's going to give me the option of doing a couple things. Automatically add uh, new top level pages. I don't want to do that. I do want to control what goes on this menu so I don't want it to automatically add anything. And then I have the option of putting this in the primary menu or the footer menu. Again, with these kinds of things, we wouldn't necessarily know where they land until we add them. So let's go ahead and say that this is the primary menu. And the next thing that we can do is over here on the left hand side, we have, I'm going to collapse this, we have a choice of adding pages, links, or categories. In our particular case, I'm going to add our page because we do have a page in there. I'm going to click on that page and if I have a hundred or so, I could view them all or I could search for them. I'm clicking on the home. I'm going to click on add to menu. I'm going to go ahead and save that menu. Now before I even leave this, I'm going to uh, jump back up here and I'm going to refresh my page just so I see what has happened. And it's not very big, but take a look over here. Notice that this is where the primary menu has landed. So that's something that generally speaking at our level of understanding WordPress, we're not going to get into fussing with that. If you happen to have some really um, awesome web design skills, you can get involved in playing with that, moving it around, etc. But that does get into coding. So for our understanding, we're going to let it stay there. Um, the next thing that I want you to create here, if you recollect, um, this has to have a link to its home page, but I also want you to create a link back to your primary website. So to do that, I'm going to go under link and you're going to simply type in your web address and it must start with HTTP. For my sample, I'm going to take us back to the Ramapo site and I need to give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name and then once I've got the web address correct and I've got a link name in there that name is important to punctuate spell capitalize correctly I'm going to click add to menu I'm going to click on save menu and once again I can pop over here and take a look at this and here's my newly created hyperlink here. Now the next thing I'm going to play with uh, in this particular module are the widgets. Now we're not doing too much there. I just want to explain to them. I'm going to come over here and click on widgets. Right now what we see is this particular chunk over here is being filled. This is the right side bar and the author has defaulted to have these chunks living in there as a default and how do you control them. You would come under your widget area and under your widget area, you can actually create a custom menu based off of one of your uh, creations. Um, or you can just play around with all sorts of other sidebars. Now this particular theme has a ton of different sidebars. Keep in mind that the author decided to put all these sidebars in here. You won't necessarily find these labels on sidebars, nor will you necessarily find this many sidebars 
on other themes. But here's that right hand sidebar. And the first thing I, I know is I want to take out many of these pieces. Now don't worry, if I want them back, they're all sitting over here to the left hand side. I can always just re-add them back in. But I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces out and I'm going to take out my comments. I'm not using them anyway. I'm going to take out my posts. I'm not using them anyway. For the moment, I'm going to leave my search bot button in there and I'm going to leave my meta in there, remembering that the meta is the place where it has the sign-on sheet. Once I'm done with that, there's really nothing to do here. I don't save it. I don't do anything on here. Once it's done, it's done. I'm going to come back over here and click on update. And now you'll notice that my right hand sidebar, all of that other extra stuff was gone. And that is because I took it out of my widget area. When we revisit our menus and widgets next time, I'll be talking to you about how to create more menus and how to play with the widget sidebar a little bit more. For now, that's it. Thanks.